Mr. and Mrs. Sims were granted a secure weekly tenancy of a house by Decorum Borough Council. A landlord can only determine such a tenancy by persuading a court to make an order for possession on certain grounds. By contrast, a secure tenant can exercise its common law right uh, to bring a weekly tenancy to an end by serving a notice to quit on the landlord. In Hammersmith and Monk in 1992, the House of Lords decided that a periodic tenancy held by joint tenants could validly be brought to an end by service of a notice to quit by one of the tenants alone. Under the terms of the tenancy agreement in this case, it was specifically provided in Clause 100 that either of the joint tenants uh, could determine uh, the uh, tenancy by serving notice to quit on decorum. And by Clause 101, it was provided uh, that decorum uh, could then decide whether the other tenant could remain in the property or be offered uh, alternative accommodation. Mr and Mrs Sims separated and Mrs Sims served a notice to quit on decorum. Uh, decorum considered uh, Mr Sims' application to remain in the property and decided that he could not. Accordingly, uh, decorum sought possession of the house uh, from Mr Sims. The Deputy District Judge, uh, who heard the case, and the Court of Appeal uh, considered uh, that Mr Sims had no uh, defence to the claim. On the appeal to the, this court, uh, Mr Sims contends uh, that the order for possession against him uh, represents an infringement of his rights under Article 1 of the First Protocol to the European Convention on Human Rights, A1P1, or under Article 8 of the Convention. The Supreme Court unanimously dismisses uh, Mr Sims' appeal uh, for reasons given in a judgment uh, written by myself. Under A1P1, everyone is entitled to peaceful enjoyment of his possessions and nobody should be deprived of his possessions except in the public interest and subject to conditions provided for by law. In this case, uh, the tenancy was determined according to its express terms under Clause 100, and Clause 101 uh, was properly operated. Particularly in light of the uh, common law principle uh, laid down in Monk, uh, Clause 100 cannot be said to be irrational or unreasonable, and its effect is in any event mitigated uh, by Clause 101. The effect of the decision in Monk can be said to be harsh on a remaining joint tenant such as Mr Sims, but where one of two joint periodic tenancy, tenants wishes to determine a tenancy, uh, somebody's interest, uh, that tenant or the tenant who wishes to remain or the landlord has to suffer. The Deputy District Judge carefully considered decorum's operation of Clause 101 and concluded that Mr Sims had every opportunity uh, to present his case and that decorum had reviewed its own decision fairly. In those circumstances, uh, the claim under A1P1 fails. Under Article 8 of the Convention, everyone is entitled to respect for his private life and his home, and under Article 8.2, no interference by a public authority with the exercise of this right uh, is to be permitted unless it is in accordance with the law and, among other things, uh, necessary in a democratic society and in the interests of the well-being, economic well-being of the country, or protection of rights and freedoms of others. Mr Sims was entitled to raise uh, the question of the proportionality of decorum's pursuit of the claim for possession against him, uh, but uh, the consideration of proportionality uh, does not assist Mr Sims. The deputy, the deputy District Judge carefully assessed uh, decorum's decision-making process. She was plainly correct to decide that it was lawful and proportionate, uh, and uh, she took into account uh, Mr Sims' Article 8 rights being protected uh, by the terms of his tenancy, uh, the benefit in particular of Clause 101, uh, his rights under the Protection from Eviction Act, uh, the fact that the court would have to be satisfied that decorum was entitled to evict him uh, and that it was disproportionate, uh, that it was not disproportionate to do so. 
in those circumstances, Mr. Sim's defence under Article 8 also fails, and the appeal is therefore dismissed. The court is now adjourned.